What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Gerard Modern X. Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily root the Honor 5X. Now, you guys know that the Honor 5X is what I would consider the king of budget phones from Huawei, metal build, awesome display, decent camera, all for under $200. And what is even cooler is the fact that you can easily unlock the bootloader. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, how to install recovery, and how to root the Honor 5X. Let's go ahead and get started. On the device, you're gonna to wanna to head into settings, go down to about phone. Then you're gonna click on this build number seven times until you have unlocked the developer options. Go back, go to your developer options. Make sure that you have enable OEM unlock checked and that you have USB debugging checked. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and plug your device into your computer. Okay, on your computer, you're gonna to want to navigate to the Huawei developer site. I'll include a link in the description. Everything's in Chinese, so what you wanna do is make sure that you do translate the page. At any rate, you'll need to register a free account. Once you've registered your free account, go ahead and log in. Once you've logged in, you will arrive at the unlock agreement page. Just scroll down to the bottom, check the box. I have read the above terms and accept content, and then click next. Next, you'll fill out this form. So you're looking for the model number. You can find all of this on your device. If you go into settings, about phone, your model number is the KIW-L24 or whatever your Honor 5X model number is. You'll fill that out in the top line. Okay, the product serial number, you can find that on the back of your phone on a sticker um, for the most part, at least that's where mine was. You can also go into status. So if you go into status, you should be able to find your serial number in the status and also your product IMEI. Now, as far as the product identification code goes, um, you're gonna have to punch in a series of numbers on your dialer to get that number to populate. If we go to the Team Win Recovery link here, it gives you that series of numbers. So right here it's star pound, star pound, one, three, five, seven, nine, four, six, pound, star, pound, star, and that will give you that ID. So once you have the product identification number, place that there, put in the verification code, which you can see to the right here, just copy that here and then you'll submit that's going to give you your unlock code so once you have your unlock code go ahead and copy that unlock code okay go to your fastboot file if you do not have fastboot or adb installed i'll be sure to include a link in the description from the file that contains your fastboot and adb files you're going to shift right click and open command window here okay next you're going to type adb devices your phone should populate there if it doesn't then you need to uh, make sure that drivers are installed for your device and if you have the drivers correctly installed normally all you have to do is plug the usb cable into your phone and that should automatically happen with windows once your computer does see your device just type adb reboot boot loader hit enter your phone will enter bootloader mode. So from bootloader mode, you're gonna type fastboot OEM, unlock, and you're gonna paste your code. So just right click and paste your code there, hit enter. I've already done mine, as you guys can see, it says phone is unlocked, so I'm already bootloader unlocked, I don't have to do that again. Once you do that, it's gonna unlock the bootloader and wipe data on your phone. So be sure that you have everything backed up prior to unlocking your bootloader. Once your bootloader is unlocked, you'll need to reboot your phone and set everything up again. Once you have everything set up on your phone, you're gonna head to the link in the description for SuperSU 2.67 beta. Go ahead and download that file and also make sure that you re-enable USB debugging and re-enable OEM unlock from the settings. So just scroll back down to about phone Tap on that build number seven times to open up developer options. Again, go into developer options, make sure OEM unlock is checked and USB debugging is checked. Then you can set your phone to the side. Once again, ADB, reboot, boot loader. Once again, your phone will boot into bootloader mode. Fast boot, flash, recovery, and then you're gonna copy and paste the name of the recovery. So the recovery can be found at the link in the description. Uh, what you're looking for is twerp underscore kiwi dot image. So TWRP underscore kiwi dot IMG. 
enter. That's going to go ahead and flash Team Win Recovery Project onto your phone. It takes just a few seconds. Type fast boot, reboot. That's gonna boot you back into Android. So as soon as your phone is back in Android, you're gonna type ADB reboot recovery, and then that will boot your phone into Team Win Recovery Project. We'll swipe to allow modifications, and then we'll go to install, download, beta, Super SU version 2.67 and swipe to flash. Okay, when we're finished, we're just gonna reboot the system. Once your phone boots back up, you can go and grab Root Checker just to verify that you are indeed rooted. You should notice that you have the Super SU application on your phone. Go ahead and open up Root Checker, verify root. Okay, there is your super user request. That means that we are indeed rooted and that was super quick and easy. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for the root guide on the Honor 5X. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.